Outback South Australia is stark and eerie at the best of times, and the dusty outpost of Maree is usually pretty quiet. But in June 1998, one of Australia's biggest mysteries put the town on the map when it became the focus of worldwide media attention. It was, wow, here's this huge Aboriginal figure dug in the soil. The Maori Man is 4.2 kilometres long, 28 kilometres around it. The, the markings are around about 35 metres wide and uh, there's about 500 kilometres of ploughing in it. This one, I'd imagine, was done by a very small group of people because there simply wasn't a word around the traps as to who did it. And most things that most people do, we hear about them. Done completely in a secret, and to this day it is still a secret who, who may have done it. There's lots of theories. My personal opinion is there's been a bloke who's got a few quid and um, had a bit of nous, and he's had access to um, a bit of heavy industrial machinery. So that narrows it out a bit, doesn't it? The first suspect with heavy industrial machinery was over at nearby Olympic Dam, the world's largest uranium mine, where Ken Lamb runs an earth moving business. I've been accused of making the Mare Man. No, it wasn't me at that time, no. Uh, I do own a grader, but hours and weeks of bulldozing, it, it's, uh, it's uh, too much, too much industry. It's a very big project and it was done, obviously, with GPS technology. I'm not real good on computers, so it probably leaves me out of the ring there. With no clear proof, the spotlight turned to the local air charter operators. If I had an aeroplane, I'd think, well, that would be a bloody good way to generate a bit of business. I know our business went up by double overnight. The wow factor was good, both on the wallet and on the uh, passenger point of view. But we wouldn't have done anything like that. We respect the community, we respect the environment, and we're trustworthy outback people. It wasn't long before the local Aboriginal people were being accused. Yeah, it's on my country. I live 13 k's away from it. I would be the closest. Ron was one of the few people who could have caught the artist red-handed. Well, I see the light there, and so I, I thought it was the next door neighbours driving around, They're looking for their stock. Well, I, I never took any notice, but I, I, I sat there for over an hour watching the lights. Then we found out later what it was. Another suspect is Desert Wanderer and Camelier, Phil G, who was <laughs> out bush at the time. I saw many suspicious things and was asked many suspicious questions. But now, after 10 years of pointing the finger, the locals have given up and gained a certain fondness for their giant new neighbour. It's a great piece of artwork, biggest in the world by seven times. Anyone who doesn't like it, there's something wrong with them. It's been put there, well that's it, you know, you, you, you put up with it. It's a good secret and I reckon it's best left a secret. One day we will find out, then we'll have a beer with that bastard and we'll be able to have it, you know, congratulating, because what he did was pretty bloody good. <laughs> good luck to him. It's a great secret and so it shall remain. <laughs>